In C.S. Lewis's autobiography, he writes about what he considers the biggest mistake of his life. And it's really weird. It'll sound weird to non-denominational America. C.S. Lewis is known as the greatest English-speaking theologian that ever lived. It's the best. He became popular for writing about Christianity in a time where people really needed hope during World War II. As of today, I've read almost every one of his books. Lewis argues for Christian morals and ideas without citing scripture. And the Bible is an amazing gift from God, but one that we don't actually need for Christianity to be true. When C.S. Lewis was a teenager, he stopped believing in God. Surprisingly, that's not what he considers his biggest mistake. C.S. Lewis's mother had died when Lewis was still a young boy, and since then his relationship with his father had become tumultuous. And that's when C.S. Lewis made the biggest mistake of his life. My relations to my father helped to explain. I'm not suggesting that they excuse. One of the worst acts of my life. I allowed myself to be prepared for confirmation and confirmed, and to take my first communion. In total disbelief, acting apart, eating and drinking my own condemnation. In Christianity, communion is a sacrament. A sacrament means holy mystery. And it's one that Christians have taken part in since Jesus commanded us to in the first century. Now as they were eating, Jesus took bread, and after blessing it, broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took a cup, and when he'd given thanks, he gave it to them saying, Drink of it all of you, for this is the blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Christians believe that when we take part in communion, even today, we receive that same forgiveness of sins that Jesus spoke about back then. But why did Lewis consider taking part of this as an unbeliever one of the worst acts of his life? Because one of Jesus' servants, Paul, from the first century, taught people how to receive communion. And this is what he wrote. Whoever therefore eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty concerning the body and blood of the Lord. Let a person examine himself then, and so eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For anyone who eats and drinks without discerning the body, the body eats and drinks judgment on himself. Do you agree with Lewis that this would have been a huge mistake on his part? If Lewis is right that taking communion in an improper manner is dangerous, should we just be handing communion out to anyone in to-go cups? Drop your thoughts on communion below in the comments.